Okay, so as I mentioned earlier, you are going to want to repeat rounds one through eight until your hat measures seven and a half inches from the top of your hat down to the cast on edge. And you should have these beautiful honeycomb cables right on the front of your hat. There's that nice waffle stitch running through the back. And um, you also want to make sure that you are ending on either rounds three or seven before you begin decreasing your hat. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how to start our decrease. Let me zoom in for you so you can get a better look. We're going to place our stitch marker. And first we are going to be knitting two and purling two together. We are going to do that seven times. So round one, begin with a knit two, purl two together. Knit one, two, and then we are going to bring the working yarn to the front. We are going to go in purlwise into the next two stitches, and then simply purl those two stitches together. So that counts as our first repeat. Knit one, two, Purl two together. And then repeat this seven times until you make it back to the first place marker. Okay, once we make it to our first place marker, we are going to go ahead and slip that over, and then we are going to knit two, knit two together 10 times. So we're gonna start by knitting one, two, and then knitting these next two stitches together. So that counts as our first repeat. Like I said, we are going to do this 10 times all the way across the cabled section. Okay, so we've made it to our second place marker. We're going to slip that over. And this time we are going to be purling two together and then knitting two six times. And then we will be ending on a purl two together. So you can see we have these starting off here, we have these two purl stitches. So like I said, we're going to purl those together and knit the next two. So 
you're going to go in purlwise into these two stitches and purl them together. Then knit the next two stitches. And that counts as the first repeat. And like I said, we will be doing this six times. Okay, so we are ending on a purl two together. So at this point, you should now have 70 stitches on your needles. Round two is very simple. All you are going to do is knit the entire round. Just make sure that you are slipping your place markers as you go. Okay, for round three, we are going to start off by knitting two together and knitting one stitch seven times. So first we are going to go ahead and knit two stitches together. Knit one. And that's once. Knit two stitches together, knit one, knit two stitches together, knit one, knit two 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 together, knit one. So now we've made it to our first place marker. And this time we are going to knit one, knit two together, and we are going to do that. 10 times. So knit one, knit two together, knit one, knit two together, knit one, knit two together, okay so now we've reached the second place marker we're going to slip that over and this time we are going to continue knitting one and knitting two together for six repeats. And then we will end on a knit one. So we are going to knit one. Knit two together. That's one repeat. Knit one. Knit two together, knit one, knit two together, knit one, knit two together, 
knit one, knit two together, knit one, knit two together. That was our sixth repeat. In this last stitch, we are just going to go ahead and knit. So round four is another simple round. We are going to be knitting all the way around and you just want to make sure that you remove your place markers as you go. Um, just be sure that you don't remove the beginning of the round marker. At some point as you are knitting your stitches are going to become too tight and so you're going to either need to switch to a longer cord like I did I'm going to show you a little bit of the magic loop method or you can switch to a set of double pointed needles whatever works for you um, and this video isn't specifically a tutorial on how to utilize the magic loop method I'm going to go over it and show you um, but it's not going to be necessarily a super in-depth video so hopefully you are already familiar so anyways the first thing that I like to do I've just switched to a longer cord and I like to get my stitches close together place my stitch marker and then knit the first stitch or in this case we are going to be knitting the first two stitches together all the way around. So I'm going to knit those first two stitches together. And then what I'm going to do is um, line my stitches up so there is basically an even amount of stitches on both sides, on both needles. And I'm going to line my stitches up and I'm going to take this back needle and pull it out towards the front and I'm going to go ahead and insert into the next two stitches and knit them up and knit those two stitches together and I'm just going to continue working knitting two together Okay, so I've made it to the end of that needle. So now I'm going to go ahead and push all my stitches back down. I'm going to readjust them a little bit. Sometimes that happens, I just need to readjust my stitches. So I'm going to go ahead, push them back down into the loop, and I'm going to divide them again roughly in half. And so half of those stitches are going to go up onto the back needle, and half of them I'm going to push onto the front needle and then I hold them close together and I'm going to pull that back needle out and continue knitting off of the front needle 
knitting two together and you are just going to continue knitting two together until you make it to the very last stitch and that last stitch you are going to go ahead and knit so once you make it back to the stitch marker I will show you where to go from there Round six is another just knit the entire round. So go ahead and slip your stitch marker over and we are just going to continue knitting all the way around. So I've made it to the end of that needle and I'm going to go ahead and push those stitches back up. Oops, looks like I dropped a stitch there. I'm going to go ahead and push the stitches back up onto my right hand needle I'm sorry my front needle <laughs> then I'm going to take the back needle and continue working in the magic loop just knitting the entire round Okay, you have made it to round seven. This is the last round of our decrease, after which you should have 12 stitches. And we are just going to be knitting two together all the way around. So knit two together. Knit two together. all the way around. Okay, so we've made it back around. All we have left to do is to center beanie and then weave in the ends. So I'm going to go ahead and start scooting my stitches up towards my needle. And then you're going to want to cut about six to eight inches, just to tail long enough to be able to cinch your beanie. So I think I cut that a little bit too long. Yep, six to eight inch tail. And then you are just going to want to weave that tail onto your tapestry needle. Like so. And you should have 12 stitches at this point and you are just going to go ahead and taking your tapestry needle you're going to slip each stitch 
carefully off onto your tapestry needle and then run that tail through the loops I'm going to keep slipping my stitches onto my needle And then you are going to want to, you're going to have a little hole at the top and you're just going to want to pull until your beanie is nice and tight. And then what I like to do, you still have a little bit of a, a hole in the top, but what I like to do is then go in through these top loops here and run my, my tail through these loops and that's just going to help make it nice and secure. What I like to do is go down through the center of that little hole at the top of your beanie. I will, I will pull my tail through the center and out the other end. And then I basically just like to repeat that process on the underside of the hat. Just for a few stitches or so. Picking up those top loops and weaving the tail into them. Just as we did before. And then I will eventually pick a spot and I will just tie a little knot, a little double knot Oops, I split my yarn. It's okay, I'm going to hide it anyway. So I create a little knot. And then I will just weave my tail in, running down a few of the stitches. It doesn't have to be perfect. Just enough to hide your tail. And then I will go ahead and cut it off. And there you have it. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I hope that you knit some of these waffles with honey hats. I loved making this pattern and I was so excited to share it with you guys. It's just very textural and squishy. It's one of those comfy, cozy kind of hats and it gives me all the fall feels. So if you do, um, please tag me on Instagram at Griswold Knits and use the hashtag Griswold Knits or hashtag waffles with honey hat because I would love to see your work. Um, that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope to see you in the next one. Until then, keep it cozy, be well, and I will see you soon.